This is the second tutorial in a series that show how to convert a game made for the Blender game engine so that it will play inside a web browser using Blend for Web. In this tutorial I'll show you how to set up collision bounds for the ramp, the platform and the monkey statues. The platform is a regular shape so it is easy to set up its collision bounds. In the collision shape choose box. But many objects like the monkey statues and the ramp have irregular shapes. With the Blender game engine you can use convex hull for irregular shapes that do not have concave parts and triangle mesh for shapes that do, but these are not supported by the web-based physics engine. This does not mean we cannot have complex collision bounds, but it does mean we have to do more work depending on how accurate we want the bounds to be. The starting point for this tutorial is the file made in the previous tutorial you can download the file from my website or you can use your own models to make a similar scene. Because the ramp is not a regular shape, I'm going to add a plane and place it on the front face of the ramp. Add Mesh Plane. So we can see it more clearly, I'm going to use the tip of the blue arrow to move it up a bit. To see more clearly what's going on, toggle into quad view, pan, shift and middle mouse button and zoom in with the mouse wheel, shift and middle mouse button and mouse wheel. Selecting the ramp, its origin is in the front face of the ramp, so I can use snap options to place the new plane where I want it, first of all cursor to select it, select the new plane, object, snap, selection to cursor. Click on the object properties, drag on the Y scale to make the plane longer, drag on the X rotation to rotate the plane, you can click on the left and right arrows to fine-tune the settings. Scrolling down and in rendering properties click do not render. We never want to see the new plane, we just want to use its collision bounds. In the physics properties Click Object Physics and Collision Bounds and in the View menu toggle back out of Quad View and zoom back with the mouse wheel. The platform is a regular shape so all we have to do is click Object Physics and Collision Bounds. We want the shape to be box. Now clicking Fast Preview. The camera is controlled Press Q and click on the car. Now the car will go up the ramp and along the platform. The car goes up the ramp and along the platform, but it goes through the gems. I'll deal with the gems in the next tutorial. The monkey statues are obstacles. At the moment the car will drive through them. I'm going to change that next. The simplest solution is to put a box around the statue. I'm going to try that to see if it gives reasonable results. First of all, I'm going to remove the physics from the monkey statues. Convex hull is not supported and the box generated by Blender is far too big. With the statue selected, in the object properties, make a note of the location, 2 minus 4, add mesh cube, set its location to 2 and minus 4. 
In the view menu, toggle quad view, change shading to solid and zoom in with the mouse wheel. Drag on the X scale until the blue legs appear through the box in the right view. Drag to reduce the Y scale of the box. As I do this, I notice that the Y location needs adjusting. I can use the tip of the green arrow to do that. Drag on the Y scale until the blue legs just appear in the front view. Scroll down and in the export options tick apply scale and modifiers so we don't have to apply the scale and in the rendering properties click do not render we never want to show the box. In the physics properties click object physics and collision bounds. With the mouse pointer in the 3D view Duplicate, hold down shift, press D and enter and put a minus sign in front of the X location of the duplicate. Toggle back out of quad view, change shading to material and click fast preview. That's the end of the tutorial. I'll put all the files used in the tutorial for you to download at my website. To visit my website, click the eye icon in the top right hand corner. To subscribe, click the stickman. If you'd like to sponsor my tutorials, click the patron link. Thanks for watching and goodbye.